Lesson 10.7, Model Shapes. We model shapes by drawing them or by building them from clay and sticks. We've learned that two-dimensional shapes are flat shapes. This is a triangle. We can trace the triangle. We have one side, two sides, three sides, and one, two, three corners, that's three vertices. Here we have a square, that's a flat shape. We can trace the sides. We have one, two, three, four straight sides, and four square vertices. Here we have a circle. It has no corners. We can trace it around. It's one big curve. Here we have a rectangle. It's got four straight sides, just like the square. That's two, three, four. And it has four square vertices, just like the square. Here we have a hexagon. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six corners. That's six vertices. Two-dimensional shapes are flat shapes. They're all flat. Three-dimensional shapes are solid shapes. They're not flat. We have a cube, a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. We can use clay or Play-Doh to model four spheres. We can roll four balls of clay to make four spheres. We can make a square using toothpicks. I've colored mine blue so you can see them on this fabric. We could use lollipop sticks or Q-tips. We could use juice straws. We could even use regular drinking straws that we cut into smaller pieces. I'm going to use toothpicks. We can take four toothpicks and we can stick them into the sides of our clay sphere. And we can do it all the way around. We've made a square. We used four spheres of clay and four toothpicks. Each sphere is a vertex of our square. And we can make another square with four more spheres of clay and four more toothpicks. Now we have two squares. Now we take a toothpick and we stick it standing up in that sphere. We take another one and stick it standing up out of that sphere. Another one sticking up out of this clay sphere. And another one sticking up out of this clay sphere. Now it looks like this. And we have to be very careful moving it because it's wiggly. But we can see that we've got four vertices with toothpicks standing up. Now we can gently put this one on top of the standing toothpicks. Do you know the shape that we made? Look at this. Do you know this shape that we made? We have to be very careful because it's wiggly. We've made a cube. We've made a cube and we used eight spheres, four on the top and four on the bottom, for the eight corners, and we used 12 toothpicks. Each toothpick is an edge of our cube. And you can do this too. We've actually made a skeleton of a cube. We can see all of its sides. 
and it looks like this. We've made the skeleton of a cube. A square is a flat two-dimensional shape. A cube is a three-dimensional shape that takes up space. A quick message to the parents, we can use modeling clay, Play-Doh, homemade Play-Doh. We can even use cake fondant for the vertices to make the spheres. And we can use popsicle sticks, cut up straws that are all the same size, toothpicks, Q-tips, or even lollipop sticks for the frame. If you want to make your own Play-Doh, here's the recipe. You need two cups of flour, one cup of salt, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and one teaspoon of cream of tartar. You need food color mixed in two cups of water. And you cook it slowly on medium heat, stirring until it's thick. And you can keep it in the refrigerator in a plastic container with a tight lid. I'll have this posted on the Joanne School Facebook page. You can try making your own cube skeleton. Our next lesson, 10.8, we're going to learn about above and below. Have a really nice day. Hit that like button for me, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.